walkie time for me starts here at Titanic Belfast and uh, hopefully I'll be fit enough to walk the whole way from here to Bangor uh, within the next seven or eight weeks and to keep it interesting I've challenged myself this year to add on an extra train stop every single week until I'm fit enough to make it all the way from here to Bangor. So I got to Hollywood last week, got the train back so it beats the monotony of walking back over your own steps. You just walk in a straight line. That was about a two hour walk and about 15,000 steps. Uh, today, the next stop beyond that is a station called Merino. So I'm gonna walk from here to Merino. That's gonna add about 25 minutes, 30 minutes on to last week's dander and should take it up to about 18, 19,000 steps or so. Now for the first part of this walk, you've got to clear the old airport road first. It's mainly a long, monotonous stretch of road, to be honest. A few little stop-offs along the way, but mainly factories and lots of industry. What's a little bit odd is among all the industry down at Belfast Harbour, there's actually this little wildlife sanctuary you pass by in the first leg of this walk. It's got a coffee shop, a few little lookouts where you can go and look at birds, and there's even a little bug hotel there for insects. It's quite interesting and I will go in one day and have a little whiz around, but for today, i got to keep trucking. The dirty Dock Ale House, good spot by the way. I was tempted to stop there for a chicken burger and a drink, but probably would defeat the purpose of what I'm actually doing. Uh, so I'm at Hollywood, uh, there's Hollywood train station just over there. Um, but for this part of the journey, i got to move on another 30 minutes around the coastline to Merino is where we're finishing today. These are the days, these are the days that challenge you, these are the days that want you to quit. Now this part of the journey takes you right past the famous sea park in Hollywood. I remember bringing my kids to this park years ago. I remember as a child coming down here and even my mum would have come to this park too. It's been around for a long, long time and uh, on a nice day, it's just one of the best places to be, particularly so close to Belfast, but today, not so much. Now the train line runs parallel for most of the coastal path the whole way to Bangor but this particular stop of course it slightly diverts off the main path and you need to go 10 minutes up through this residential area uh, and not just are you off the beaten track but you also have to go up a hill, which I probably could have done without. Oh great, look, I've arrived, but I just know I am not getting that train. Typical. Now, you would have think it would have had this better timed, but no, apparently not. Oh well. Didn't make that train, surprise, surprise. I could have run, I suppose, but uh, what is it they say? Walk before you can run, and uh, I'm not ready for running. Yeah, there's another one along in 30 minutes. And on the plus side, I did make it to Merino. It sounds very continental, doesn't it? It doesn't look continental, I can assure you. Half an hour to fill, so I might as well get a few more steps in. I'm pretty sure this train station uh, whilst I've never been here before, is right at the bottom of Winnie Hill, which is on the main uh, Belfast to Banker Road. So it's right here. And if my calculations are correct, there's a couple of petrol stations here. So I might nip in for a coffee and a double decker. I'm gonna loiter in the spar for half an hour stirred all the biscuits that I can't have. Pop chips, they're okay because they're not fried apparently. It's amazing to me just how quickly you get your fitness back. Uh, that was easier for me today to do than the walk to Hollywood last week even though that was about another 30 minutes further on down the line. Uh, so I'm feeling good. Uh, I feel like I can do this now. Uh, next week we add uh, the next stop onto the walk, which is called Tra. That gets me down to the Ulster Folk and Transport Museum and uh, the Culloden. That's the nearest stop for there. It adds about another 20, 25 minutes on to the journey. Today was about 15, 16,000 steps. That'll take it up another couple of thousand. And uh, yeah, I think I've got this. I think I've got this.